Why is it that we've succeeded more than other media companies? Um, one, I think we're willing to make the investment. It's expensive to have that type of team on board. So 150 people, 150 salaries. And so you, one, you have to make the investment, and then two, go out into the market and command enough respect to be able to get the revenue in to support that team. So how do our readers uh, feel about branded content? So I don't ever want to seem like I'm living in some kind of bubble where readers at the Times are coming eagerly awaiting to check you know, the branded content news of the day. I don't think that's happening. Um, I think I'm looking for that kind of serendipitous moment where we can match a really high quality story from a brand to something that that person happened to be interested in. I think the one thing we have going for us is it's actually um, bad, for, bad for results to do anything but high quality work on the Times. Um, it'll, you know, I don't want to you know, fake it. I mean, there's all, most brands, they don't, want, they don't want the work to be perceived as an ad. And if it's low quality, it's immediately going to stick out as an ad on the Times. One specific campaign, I'll just say it's like a kind of an anecdote from the field. So um, we went out to um, Qatar to kind of build up some client presence there. So we're in Doha and we did a meeting with a PR agency. And I thought we were going in there to present T-Brand. And basically the meeting ended up being the PR agency representing the government, saying the government was offended um, at one of our posts. And I thought, okay, this is interesting. Um, we are a branded content studio and ad agency. And I have you know, the Emir of Qatar asking us to do a retraction on a post we had done for a human rights organization advocating for the World Cup migrant workers. You know, we, we basically had come out through a branded post um, to say that uh, 4,000 workers were going to die building these sites. And so this was, a, this was a, you know, a piece of branded content. And everybody talks about, okay, you know, do readers treat branded content like they treat editorial? Does it have an impact? And I thought, just right there, the human rights group reached the one person they really wanted to get to, which was the Emir of Qatar. And you know, it's fascinating sitting across the table. He was asking for retraction, and I thought maybe we will be the first branded content studio to issue a retract. We didn't because we wanted to stay true to it. But I thought it was a really cool moment. The everyday, you know, the everyday citizen does not know what a native ad studio is, um, so it's still relatively new. That said, we get a lot of positive feedback just about the quality. I mean, the the stories are still great. You know, the new world, I see it as um, scary. Um, I see it as exciting for us, as long as you know, we're one of the ones who win. Um, and then third, I see it as very collaborative. We're going to have to get very nimble about you know, how we all work together. Mm -hmm.